Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick live stream. We're going to be playing more Tokyo Jungle this time. Let's get it going. Now, if you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs, so I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. Now, if you want to see which games are being played on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going now, including Tokyo Jungle. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of seven, nine, of nine, and we're currently at five. So uh, we are getting there, guys. We're past the halfway point. The 28th entry in the Twitch playbook just came out earlier today. It is called Make Your Streams More Watchable, and that's going to help you to make your streams more visible to everybody who's watching, no matter what platform they are on. Now, if you don't know the Twitch playbook, it is a free podcast I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized, and it's been coming out for the last 28 weeks in a row, so it, there's plenty of them. There's lots of them. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching The Twitch Playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Now let's jump into the game, ladies and gents. Here we go. Do -do. This one. No. This one. This one. I recently switched my Tokyo Jungle layout. Here we go. Oh yeah, you probably saw a big, uh, a big uh, warning message for a second. That's a quirk of the PS3. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. It's just the uh, hardware that I have to capture. Ah, nice hot coffee at 1.01 a.m. Here we go. So we unlocked a, a story mission, but we still have this survival thing. Yeah, we can still continue our survival thing. Hey, Dizzy, host in the stream. Thank you to Dizzy for the host. Wait a second. Are you live? Were you live again, Dizzy? And how did your second stream go? We saw your other stream. Oh, you really want to play this? It's so good. This game is really good. Welcome, Dizzy, into the stream. How was your dinner? What did you end up at, uh, end up uh, uh, getting for dinner? And I just saw right there you hopped on after dinner. Nice. What did you play? Let's get a shout out in here. For Dizzy Dizzy Dino, who, if you guys don't already know, you should certainly, certainly uh, uh, go check out. Dizzy's amazing, plays a whole bunch of amazing games. Um, I think you've recently been playing the Yakuza series, which I really want to join because are you live translating those? Are those some of the live translation games? I know 3 was, I think, but we're currently on Yakuza Kiwami 2, so I'm trying to stay away from the storyline elements. But uh, I really want to join those. Those are, uh, that's a really cool idea. Go on Dizzy's channel, guys. Click that link in the shout out. Go click on uh, twitch.tv slash Dizzy Dizzy Dino, and then uh, go check out that channel. Oh, playing auto chess, nice. Oh, that's right, you were playing auto chess when we, uh, when we joined as well. Got to some shave ice, nice. Then played a round of auto chess. Live translating the Yakuza games, three to four, and now doing five. That's amazing. It's like one monster arc. Oh, so cool. Oh, man. When I was um, a kid, I when the PS3 was new, I was really, really into like s figuring out how to get the other region. The PS3 had this weird region thing where you could sign up for multiple accounts. I think I can show it here, actually. You could sign up for multiple accounts. Is it going to work? Yes. So I have a couple of my friends on here as well. But I have my account for Nick, and then we have Japan and Europe. And I had Japanese, uh, like a fake Japanese address that I figured out, and a uh, and a uh, a fake European address, and I would get all the game demos for like other regions that never came out here. And one of them was that Yakuza game that was set in um, Edo period Japan, I believe. It was like a like a samurai game. And obviously, for anybody who knows Yakuza, there's a lot of text in those games. So I was walking around and I had no idea what anything was in the game, but it looked so cool. Um, Dizzy's saying, you can do that on the 4 too? Nice! Oh, I'll have to try that out. 
saying if you still have that account for PSN, you could just do it on PS4. Oh, nice. I don't know if I have this login info, but I'll, I'll check it out because that'd be really fun to do that. I'm gonna stream those two after five. Isin and Kenzon. Oh, there's two of them? Holy crap. We're gonna have to check those out. If I ever get <laughs> halfway decent at Japanese, maybe I could stumblingly translate one like one one hundredth of the things that are said. I stealth welcome to the stream and gaming hour welcome to the stream as well. Welcome in guys. Can we get some hearts for everybody joining the show? Once again, thank you to Dizzy for the host. And anybody who doesn't know my channel, by the way, it is called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story focused games on here and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game. Now, if you want to see which games are being played on here, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going, including Tokyo Jungle. Now, you haven't missed anything, guys. We haven't even jumped into the game yet. You are right on time. Now, let's jump into here. Ooh, Dizzy's saying there's another game I want to check out called Ko Kyoe Toshi. It's a survivor running through Tokyo while every giant monster from every series is attacking Tokyo, and every giant robot hero ever is defending it but you're just a dude on the floor trying to survive. Oh my God, that sounds really good. Are they all licensed? Are they like actual, the actual monsters? Or is it like, um, like you know, evocative of those monsters? They're actually licensed. That's crazy. That's insane. I love it. There was a really good game on the 3DS that was like, it was like three hours long and it was just like a very chill game. I forget what it was called, but it was these, it was like a kid who lives in this town where it's just like giant monsters and robots are just like a fact of life. Like they just like come in and do their thing. And like, it's just like this really chill game where he's like living in the town while like stuff is happening. Um, I can't remember what it was called. Or I think, no, I think what it was was that his dad worked at a TV station and the TV station, this is all it set, took place in the seventies. And the TV station actually orchestrated giant robot monster fights for their shows. But instead of like making fake ones that were like human sized and making it look like they're giant, they actually had giant robots and monsters that were fighting. It was a really good game. It had like FLCL type vibes. Um, okay, let's jump in here. That game sounds awesome though. Kyoe Toshi, I'm gonna have to write that down. Is that um, gonna be localized or is that like you're gonna be doing a live translation of it? If so, either way, de definitely down to check that out. Kyoe Toshi. Assuming no localization because of licensing. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's probably true. Okay, so we're on year 62 and we have, what are we trying to do right now? Defeat 35 animals. Okay, mark 10 times. Find the vintage threads on Main Street and Shibuya Shop. Okay, first we wanna mate. There we go. So we're a Lycaon right now, which I guess is kind of like a coyote or like maybe a hyena type thing. But there's also hyenas and coyotes in this game. So it's kind of weird. I, like, I, I don't even know what a Lycaon is. I know what a Lycan is. Hey, Decaf is back from the trip, but now you sleep. Can we get some hearts for Decaf? Coming back, how, I want to hear all about the trip, but I, it would be understandable if you did it uh, after. <laughs> post sleep, because I imagine that uh, bus ride is pretty long. Gamer, I think there's a new SAO game out, coming out sometime this year. Oh my god. We have many SAOs to get through, many hours of SAO to get through before then. But I am totally down. Oh crap. It's raptor country now. We are certainly not going to live very long at this point. I don't even know how we can get past this guy. We're going to have to go this way. Dizzy, gotta crash myself, have a great, great stream. Thank you, Dizzy, uh, so much for the host. And have a great night. Can we get an exclamation mark night for Dizzy? And an exclamation mark night for Decaf. For everybody whose name starts with D in the chat. Have a great night, guys. And uh, can we get another shout out in that chat for Dizzy Dizzy Dino who sent over that host and uh, who we rated earlier, actually. It's all coming full circle, ladies and gents. That's what Twitch is all about. That is what Twitch is all about. There's like nothing in this part of the city. Yeah, there's like no meat here. 
All right, so we're gonna try and go this way because we don't want to run into the uh, into the uh, raptor. Garen saying raptors? Yeah. So um, we found out there's like a sort of a storyline in this game that you figure out through like every time you play, it's um, you know a roguelike where you're just in the city, but you can discover uh, like uh, storyline logs in these archives. And uh, in the archives, we discovered that scientists have, some people came from the future and told the scientists of Tokyo that there was some kind of device that could transport matter. And then they created the device and it started transporting things away and bringing in other things, but they didn't know what the things were. So I think the idea is that they brought dinosaurs back and they sent humans somewhere else because there's no humans anywhere. Oh god, we're dead. Wow. Run, run, run. Okay. Those uh, Dionycuses are going to eat our brother there. I don't think we have much of a chance here. Oh god. There's so many raptors around. How are we ever gonna get past? Oh my god. Can raptors jump? Let's hope not. Damn, everything's toxic in this part of town though. All this stuff is uh, toxic. Uh oh. Oh man, we're done for. I don't think there's any way to get away from these raptors. No, we're done. 66 years, ladies and gents. That's a respectable lifespan for a uh, like count, especially when raptors are involved. Okay, 66 years. Leonard the Lycan is now Dunsies. You can type exclamation mark TJ in that chat if you want to check the uh, full wall of good boys of all of the uh, animals that have lived throughout our play playthrough so far. Now, we go back. Welcome T. Bauer into the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for T. Bauer. Joining into the show. How are you doing tonight? Are you uh, staying up late? Or are you waking up very, very early? Very, very, very early. Okay, so we got a new story mission, and now we want to try and do that one. Oh, look, we can see the end of the story missions. There's nothing in this area over here. Look at that. Oh, no. Right over there, there's no missions past that point. Usually it's like that. Wow, the end is in sight. Uh-oh. Act 12, the return of the Tosas. You've honed your skills as top dog under the tutelage of the mighty bear. But returning to your former territory for vengeance upon the beagles, something unexpected was waiting. So there's like two concurrent storylines going on here. There's the lions trying to fight um, whatever the heck they were fighting. And then there's the Tosas versus the beagles. It's pretty intense, uh, you know, power structure that's happening. I love this outfit that he has. Act 12, The Return of the Tosas.
The Tosa returns, determined to wrest his land from the Beagles, but his old rivals are no more. Shibuya's suburbs have a new master now. Take back your territory by defeating the lions and hyenas. Oh, so the two storylines are converging now. Well, here we go. Oh, crap. Who's going to come out on top, ladies and gents? Damn, the Tosa is so slow and strong. He just really... Look how slow he is compared to that guy. But boom, he just gets him with a giant strike right there. That is intense. Can I eat these guys? No, I can eat the guys we just killed, though. Send some hearts, ladies and gents. The Tosa is going for it. How can I not hit this guy? There we go. Oh man. We got a lot of guys coming at us. Gaming are getting those hearts. Damn, that was a lot of enemies. So I don't think we can get past this. We have to go up. Luckily there's not really a timer other than our hunger gauge. All right. So we wanna get up there. I had a really hard time figuring out like how to do that. Here we go. Uh-oh. Got him. That's it. Got him. Very good stuff. Wait, why am I still under caution? Uh-oh. We don't have to eat every coyote though because we're not actually trying to get bigger, we're just trying to stay alive. So we just have to fill up our hunger meter.
Holy crap. Wow, that's a lot of guys. All right, let's take a breather here. Eat a bunch of animals all the way down to the bones. I ain't a boss. Probably should have been stealthy about that. Ah, I keep jumping away. Oh, he's eating a lion. So have the, hy the hyenas, I guess, have taken control from the lions. Because the last episode was where the hyena, um, the hyena like took revenge on the lion, uh, the scar lion. Damn, I can't get this move. That's it. So that one's just a free kill, so we want to do that for sure. Holy crap, they're coming out of the woodwork. Uh-oh. That's it. Damn, I'm getting my ass kicked here. We gotta go. Uh-oh. Run. I don't think a Tosa can really outrun these guys, though. Maybe he could. Let's just give it a second here. There, there's no way they could get... How would they know where we are? Garrison, you're at work and you're falling asleep. Oh, damn. Yeah, hang in there, gaming hour. How many more hours do you have? Or is it better not to think about? Saying, so you want to hold off before playing the new SAO game when it comes out? because of when it takes place. Oh, we won't have to worry about that for a while. It's gonna be a heck of a long time until we beat even the, this first Sword Art Online game. Because we there's so much content in it. There's so much stuff in it. We, we're only on floor 80. So I am uh, just looking at what we got in front of us right now. That's cool though. I like that they're making so many of the games though. Like, It seems like there must be a lot to the anime. Uh oh, okay, we're getting hit here. Maybe we can get them off the screen. There we go. Now we'll heal. Good. So we should leave these dead bodies so that we can sort of heal later. Use them for medicinal purposes. Let's go underneath. Aha! Wait, we gotta wait for this guy to pass. Oh, there's two guys down here. Three guys. I think we're good though. I don't think anyone can see us. Ok, 
Darren's saying the new game takes place during season three. Nice. Wait, how do I get... Oh, we have to go back around this way. Okay. Damn, they're really putting a lot of hyenas between us and our objective here. Damn, how are there so many... So many guys that call for backup. Run. All right, we should be good. Damn, that's a lot of guys. Good. They're fighting their own battles over here. Now who's fighting me? There's three animals that are fighting me. Let's take them all out. Uh oh, it's a lion. Oh, he's not actually fighting me, is he? I think we can just go upstairs. We don't have to fight. Oh wait, I can't get up there though. Oh wait, how do I get... Whoa, oh run! Oh, that was close. Aha! We have to go all the way up. Okay. Oh man, there's so many hyenas! You're saying you're gonna have to play through as well so you can be ready when it comes out? There's definitely a lot there, but if you really, you know, focus in and probably just, like, play just that and really, you know, binge it, I think you could do it in time. Okay, let's wait for our health to go back up. Here we go. Oh man. Ugh. So we keep hitting his hat. There we go. Damn, the boss doesn't even have like a special outfit or anything. Pretty humble of him. Damn, we've got some big lackeys here. Oh crap, what happened? There we go. Damn, get him, there we go. I'm really getting beat up here. Come on. That's it. Now let me eat you. Holy crap, we almost died. All right, now we'll take a second. Drink some coffee. All shall be right with the world. Game Arrow, which uh, sword art games have you played so far? 
besides um, Infinity Fragment. You played the one that we ha are playing on stream, right? Hinoma Maru Bank. See now that's interesting because it says uh, he is for day, no Maru. So that would mean um, circular day or all day bank. I guess it could be all day bank. Whoa, this guy has a saber tooth? How do you recruit this guy? I have fleas. How did that happen? Damn. Okay, so he has the double hit right there. I keep running into him though. There we go. All right. Uh oh, whoa, big hit, big hit, big hit, big hit. Do I have any items? No, I'm gonna die. We gotta pull something out here. I don't have any stamina. I'm gonna die just because of hunger. We're dead. Now, where does it checkpoint us? I really hope we don't have to do that whole thing again. Oh no, he's eating us. Why did our hel our hunger meter go down so fast? Okay, good, we, we only have to start from here. Maybe fleas make your hunger go up or something? Maybe it's like rabies or, I don't know. It's not bad anymore. That's it, okay. So we gotta wait for him to do his uh, two for attack. If it seems like he's about to strike, like if he hasn't done it in a while, we gotta be careful of that. But if he does the jump, it looks like he has to recover from it for a while. That's it. See, now our hunger meter is normal. I think the fleas might have messed with us. Come on, baby. Yes. I don't know why we couldn't pounce on him, but whatever works. Okay. Oh, we got a gift. Pet medicine. Let's wait until we uh, have full health to fight this guy. There we go. Can I change my outfit? No. But I can look at archives? No, oh, just the normal ones, okay. So he has that three claw attack. But he tires himself out after a while. Okay, we can handle this. Damn. We're almost there, but it's gotta be careful. Uh, mm, yes! 
Oh, send some hype, ladies and gents. We got him. The Beagle's uprising marked the opening act of a bloody tale, played out in Shibuya's fringes. The tale now comes to a close with the death of the hyenas and the Tosa's triumphant return. It all began the day the Beagle snatched away that mawashi. With that, they wiped out the pride, an order given to the Yokozuna by mankind. But in fleeing from that tiny enclave, the Tosa saw the world and came to know its scale. For the first time, he donned the mawashi of his own will. The Tosta now stands vigil over Shibuya as a true Yokozuna. He will be something. Master of Shibuya? Wait, so did we finish it? What are the last two missions then? What were the last two missions? Let's find out. Oh, I don't think we have the last two missions. Maybe they're just bonuses then. That was a cool story arc though. Let's do a new game, ladies and gents. Who's our next animal? Oh, we got the hyena, okay. We can also unlock the gazelle. But you know what I wanna do is I wanna use the chick because we haven't um, gotten the boss with the chick yet. So this is gonna be really hard. The chick is like, we don't even name, the chick is the only animal that we don't name uh, unless we survive to a certain point. T. Bauer sent that hype, thank you to T. Bauer. I'm gonna get some hype in there as well. Storyline. So challenge list. Yeah, we wanna find the rabbit boss. And where's the rabbit boss? We don't even know yet. In, uh, I don't even know. So we have to eat as much as we possibly can. Eat a flower, change generation once, head to Dokenzaka. We might as well start marking then. Once we um, sit at a at a thing, then we'll turn into a chicken. We definitely want that. Because we don't want to have to be a chick. Here. It feels so slow to be just flying around like this, man. It might not actually even be any slower, but it just feels slower. So I can actually attack animals. Oh, he killed the rabbit. Is this guy coming for us? We're in danger. But he can attack too. Oh crap. 
Oh, that's a dog. Uh-oh. Now we might really be in trouble. We're dead. Instantly dead. I forgot that dogs are lethal to a chick. Oh man, it's so crazy to have to be a chick in this game. All we have to do is get the boss once though. And in order to do that, I think we have to change generations once. I think we could do this, guys. This guy survived, I believe, one year. He has no attack. I really brought it on myself by fighting that uh, that rabbit. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was just curious to know if you could fight as a chick, which it turns out you can. And it was surprisingly lethal too. It killed the thing on its first hit. The problem is, if there's two rabbits, then you have to fight the second one. Okay, here we go. So now there's gonna be different objectives. 2,000 kcals, mark four times, Shibuya Woods, and that is up, okay. And the rabbit boss is, doesn't tell you. You only have to complete one challenge and then change generations once. All right, so we could, actually one of our things is to change generations, I think, or at least to mark. So let's go all the way over and then start marking, and because we're gonna be needing to go north. Actually, no, we don't. We don't need to do that. We don't have to do, we just have to do one objective, not all three objectives, right? Complete one challenge, yeah. chicken. They're not going to attack us. Chicken. Who is this one over here? A dog. We got to be careful of that. Go, go, go. That's a chick, okay. What's over here? Rabbits? We should be fine then, just don't kill them. My bloodthirst is too high. Oh, we're boss rank already, nice. We gotta wait for this dog to uh, turn around. There we go. Now it should be pretty smooth sailing going all the way to the uh, other side. T-Bauer, BRB, seeing a little bit T-Bauer. Let's see if we can get this last point. Cause if we can do that, I think we can turn into a chicken. Those are rabbits. They're not gonna attack us. Good. It's a chick. Bunny of Legend has come in on Yamanote Line East. How am I ever gonna make it there? Oh man. Ah. Oh. That's so far away. 
Well, if we could turn into a chicken, then we might be able to use this. Here we go. Aha! Now we are a chicken. And now, what's our rank? Boss. So, we should, we could get a mate, but we really just want to uh, go all the way up as soon as we can. Chicken is fast, or at least compared to the chick it is. Yeah, baby. So we'll get that mate. We can always mate with it later. So now we have it like queued up. And it'll also um, attract predators or like distract them from us. And that's what we really want, I guess. All we gotta do is touch the bunny boss. Uh oh. Ah! Did we die? We're dead. It's so quick the way that you die in this. It's really just a dice roll to see how close the boss can be. Because I, I don't think we'll be able to make it that far. So we're gonna try this again. All we have to do is turn into a chicken, and then it's just stealth. So let's try and go all the way over. Oh crap, there's a dog up there. Chicken's over here. I don't think he'll be able to notice us from that far away. Okay, that's just a chick. Eat one grasses. That should be it, right? We ate one grasses. Alright, now we just have to stay away from the uh, dog. Where is he? He's up there now. So he might actually come towards us if he sees us. So we're gonna stay as far as we can. Good.
We have to pay attention to every green dot on the map because it might be a uh, predator. So eat a grass. Change generation we don't want to have to do. Eat three more grasses we could probably do. Let's do it as a chicken though. Here we go. Oh damn, it's night time? Uh-oh. Nighttime sucks, because now we can't even see where the monsters are. We don't want to stray too far from the central area either because we don't know which direction the uh, boss is going to be. Okay, so a grass is considered like the entire sort of like structure. It's not just eating it, eating one bite of it. Can't see what this animal is. I think that's just a chicken. That's two more grasses right there. Hooray! I think we have to eat the entire thing though. It's not just like eat from two different instances of grass. There it is. Nope. Maybe. Oh, there's one more bite on there. That should be it. Nope. Oh, because some of these are berries, they're not grass. I get it. Bunny, bunny. Oop, that's a dog. Okay, hold it. Very carefully. Unsavory stamina jerky. That's a chicken. That's grass, that's definitely a grass. Got him. Good. We have to change generation one time. So, uh, maybe we could try to get this area. Okay, finally, it's daytime, good. Chicken, and this is a what deer? Okay, good. And this is a chicken. Good. So now we can actually mate here, and we'll be able to do it. 
be able to go for the boss. We get this average mate. Should be pretty good. Now we're chicks again, which is a real problem. But we have multiple siblings. So we did the generational thing. Now he's in Shibuya Shop District, which is sort of far away, but at least it's not as notoriously dangerous as the uh, Shibuya Woods. But we do have to be really careful in this area. I believe that because it is raining, we will not see enemies on the map either. So we should honestly probably just walk the whole way. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, this is gonna be a game full of us sacrificing our siblings. We have two siblings left. Okay. We're moving. We need to get to food. There's no food here and there's no food at Shibuya Station. This is going to be really, really rough. As I was saying, Ohio gozaimasu. Nick-san. Welcome in Azure Tundra to the stream. Let's get a konbanwa to Azure Tundra joining the show. What I would say, uh, if you're wondering, my understanding is that Ohio gozaimasu and uh, konbanwa are used not for their literal meaning, but rather the, um, you know, relational meaning, as in if you are waking up in the morning, you'd say Ohio but you wouldn't necessarily say it just because it's the AM, if that makes sense. So like if you're staying up late and it's five o'clock AM, then it would be uh, Kombawa. Although you might be waking up, I'm not sure. Welcome in Ezra Tundra to the show. Oh man, so we are trying to face the world as a series of chicks and we have changed generations we survived that much now we just have to make it uh take over this area turn into a chicken and then touch the uh the uh boss here oh nice just woke up well then that does certainly apply uh, ignore my thing about Ohio Gozaimasu, unless, uh, unless it helped. <laughs> Welcome into the show. Now we gotta be really careful, because in the rain it will not show us most of the animals on the radar. Okay, we don't care about that. Should be a shop district. All we need to do is get to this area. And then turn into a chicken. Good. And now one more.
Is it? Yes, it's daytime again. There we go. So now we're losing health, but at least we have siblings. I think if I turn into a chicken, I don't know if I'd, I'll gain my health back or my hunger gauge back. Give me that food. Good. Wow, we instantly get, got all our health. I wonder if that was because of uh, the type of food that it was, or if that was because we leveled up at the same time. Here we go. We almost got this. We gotta rest. I wonder if we'll all turn into chickens. Hopefully we will. Oh, it's nighttime again. There we go. Okay, we're all chickens now. Now we have to go to the shop district and figure out where the heck the uh, thing is. But we have to be careful because I think it might be uh, not showing enemies on the radar once again. Oh, Azertundra got a Kiryu emote. Good stuff. Oh, that's a Dizzy emote. Good stuff. Very good stuff. That's a Nani. <laughs> Amazing. That's a good idea for an emote. Uh, okay, that's a goat. But we have to actually go everywhere because we don't know where the uh, thing is. The, where the rabbit boss is. We're gonna assume he's on ground level. If not, we'll have to go upstairs, but we've never seen an animal, a boss that's been upstairs yet. Oh, that's a cool one, the gift sub emote. Wait, so what is all this? Oh, th those are buildings that we could go on. See if he's over here. Probably not though. Here we go. As a time to get in that wall of good boys, we recently said goodbye to Leonard, the uh, Lycaon. And now we are the chickens. We never name our chicken dynasties though because they're so short lived. We will name the chicken dynasty that makes, that uh, achieves its goal, that accomplishes its mission. Oh, what did I get? Pet food. That's a porcupine. That's a goat. That's the rabbit. Okay. Touch him. Yes. Oh, and it turns into day. Hooray! We did it. That's all we needed to do. Now we want to change generation once, take 2,500 cal, head for Shibuya Woods. And this is all before what, year 20? Man, we're not going to make it to Shibuya Woods. We're definitely not going to make it to Yoyogi Park, but let's give it a shot. So we got the rabbit boss. Yes. Excellent. Can we get some hype in that chat, ladies and gents? We get to be a rabbit next. 
Very good stuff. As a tundra getting that hype. Thank you, as a tundra for the hype. Now we go. Look at all our jumping. I like how they do it like not in sequence. Some of the animals are really like synced up. You know, they all jump at the same time. These ones are like a like a rolling hills. Like a snake. As I was trying to say, mmm, chicken. No, we're vegetarians in this one. In this life, we're vegetarians. Our chickens are turning brown. Is that the lighting? Or does that mean that they're like getting older? Saying it's amazing they've survived this long. We've gone through many chicken dynasties trying to uh, reach this point. We're about to possibly not survive very much longer. Oh crap, damn. Okay, smog is really messing with us here. We're gonna try and go all the way up. We're not gonna worry about changing generations because it'll just screw us over. Because once we change generations, we're gonna be a chick again. And then that's gonna make it really hard for us. That said something samurai soba, uh-oh. Speaking of which, there we go. We sacrificed one of our siblings for the greater good. If you get spotted by a predator, there's really nothing you can do as a chicken. You just have to rely on your siblings to like sacrifice themselves. Oh, we made it to Shibuya Woods, nice. Chicken is actually really fast, fast moving. is a hippo. We don't want to go near him. Hippos are dangerous predators. Oh crap. Wait, this is the wrong way. We gotta go all the way up this way. Let's just eat something while we can. Damn, it doesn't fill our stomach meter that much. As a tender thing, just like in real life, you need some kind of clan, crew, or group to survive. It's mean streets of Tokyo jungle. It's tough out there for a chicken, you know? Definitely, what would the chicken clan be called? Oh no! Okay, one of them sacrificed themselves. It's actually a button we can press that is uh, to the sacrifice yourself button. Like you sacrifice one of your, your, uh, your members to save the group. It's on triangle that you just do that. Here we go, we got a new thing. We actually made it up here. The chicken clan is called Kamikaze. Good stuff. Oh, that's right. We're supposed to name this uh, clan, uh, or rather this dynasty of chickens because they accomplished their task. Let's call them the Kamikaze clan then. Good stuff, Azur Tundra. Thank you for the name. So let's read our new uh, diary thing. Memory log two. We're almost near the end of all the story stuff. 
In the year 2215, Earth's environment underwent a rapid and precipitous decline. Atmospheric pollution resulted in abnormal weather and desertification. Food and resources ran short. Preliminary calculations show the world population falling to a quarter of the current level in 50 years and one one thousandth in a hundred years. In 200 years, the population will fall to zero. Oh, that might be what happened then. But wouldn't there be corpses on the street? Maybe it's been so many years. Like maybe this is like 20, the year 2500 or something. Like maybe it's so far in the future that human, even the human corpses have like decayed to nothing. But that doesn't make sense because it, it said that we were like a, you know, a dog that like, uh, was owned by humans at the beginning, remember? We were like a pet. Uh oh. What is that? Oh, it's a goat. Okay. Uh oh. Hippo, hippo. So we now have no more siblings. We can't tell our mate to uh, sacrifice themselves, unfortunately. So we gotta be careful here. Uh-oh, Hippo is after us now. Well, this is no good. Okay, we seem to be fast enough to, like, not let them get us. Why is my life going down? Oh, because I'm too, uh, old. Uh-oh. All right, well, at least if our hunger gauge is all the way up, it's fine. As it turns again, that 20 year hype. Thank you, Azatundra. We're pretty good chickens. We make pretty good chickens. And we're basically, this is a race against time because we're not gonna change generations because it'll, it's essentially a death sentence um, since we'll have to be a chick again. But we wanna go get those uh, story missions down there or the story, uh, the story logs. So we have some health items, we have some food items. We're just gonna run as fast as we can. Here we go. Oh, that's a cougar, that's a lion. No, no, no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Where's the story thing? There's one that's pretty close to us. If we can only get there. Lion, eat something else on the way. Too much trouble, there you go. We were too much trouble. Oh man, the Kamikaze clan is really, really somehow pulling through here. Against all odds. Man, the berry bushes are really good. They must be like a power item or something because they'll full heal you uh, if you eat it. Memory log three. Didn't we just get memory log one? Oh, we got two, okay. Mankind has initiated the second relocation project in an effort to save itself and its civilization. They will travel back in time to the decade between 2020 and 2030 using a space-time transporter. A space-time transporter would need to be built in the decade between 2020 and 2030 to make this possible. Achieving the project's objective will be the top priority of all concern. The first re relocation project involving relocation beyond Earth has been abandoned. Oh, so this is just, it's continuously repeating the cycle because that's how they got into this mess was by them going back in time and telling them to build the teleporter and then the teleporter messes up. That's a really interesting story actually. Oh God, oh God. Okay, the lion's fighting their hyenas and I don't want any part of this. Okay, hold on. 
We're good. We need to get across here. Maybe we can go underground. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's not good. That's the opposite of good. Oh, there's many obstacles between us and where we want to be. Okay, hold on. Good. Okay, we're alive again. I can't get up there though. Or can we? Yes. Okay, we're almost there. Oh my god. We're so close. That's it! That's the thing. Give me it. Oh my god, I can't believe that we actually got all of those. Transport AI type D5 has been developed back in the relocation decade. The space-time transporter will soon transport the whole population of 2215 to 2027, but the law of con conservation of mass dictates that the transfer of a large population may disrupt the state of the space model's transfer function, with devastating results for the Earth's environment. Thus, there must be counterbalancing mass, i.e. the entire population of 2027 must be transported to 2215. How does that make any sense? They're really just looking out for themselves, huh? Oh my god, there's a leopard over there, or a cheetah. As it turns out, you're a Tokyo Jungle Chicken Clan pro! Yeah, we're gonna go for that chicken world record here. I wonder how what the longest that a chicken has lasted in this game would be. Let's see if we can take over this area. We're not gonna make it out of here uh, unless we do that, I think. It's gonna be hard either way though, because once we're a chick, then we can't even escape anybody. Is he turning around? There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh, somebody found us, somebody found us. That's not good. Get in the bushes. Can he see us? No way he can see us. There's no way. Oh, there's a way, he can see us. Okay. Hold on. He cannot see us. Come on. How can he see us? Get out of here. Yeah, okay, good. Oh man, just in time. Tigers are coming. How are we gonna get past these guys now? Oh man. Uh oh, they smelled us in the bushes. Can I kill him? No. I knocked him over though, that was pretty cool. Good job, chicken. You can tell that to your chicken grandchildren. You knocked over a tiger. Okay, we're still making it. We're still doing okay. Man, there's alligators and lions and a lot of animals we don't want to have to fight. Let's go underground. Okay, so we have to go up here. Man, this is where we don't want to be. Croc country. This female chicken is so loyal. She has stuck with us through all of these tiger, lion, hyena, uh, leopard fights. That's when you know you found the right, <laughs> the right chicken. Sometimes you just know. Oh crap! Uh oh, we got a lot of toxicity now. Oh god, uh oh. Uh oh, oh that's it! Oh man. Female chicken, live on! 
She became one of the one of the cheetahs. Oh wait, how many years did we last? Twenty six years. R I P. Send some sad faces for the Kamikaze Dynasty. That was a pretty pretty strong run though. We're gonna get the Kamikaze Dynasty in here. Twenty seven years did I say? I I don't even remember what I said. I think it was 26 years. I guess we could fast forward this and see. All right, here we go. We got the years coming by. The years are just flying by. I think it shows you which animals attacked you. See, we made it without incident for many of these years. And then it started getting really, really crazy. Four, five, six, dead. 26 years. Kamikaze. What a dynasty. What a dynasty. Honestly, I wasn't sure that we would be able to do it as a chick. But I should never doubt ourselves, ladies and gents. You can do whatever you set your mind to. Oh look, we got a new story mission. But we'll have to find out what it is. Oh god, this looks amazing. We just found out what it is, and it looks great. Guys, that is going to do it for Tokyo Jungle. Thank you, everybody, for joining the show today. This has been a great episode. This game is always great episodes. Uh, thank you again to Dizzy for the raid uh, today as well. And guys, let's get a raid going of our very own. Now, make sure you copy down this raid message. It says, Meatball Marauders are here to party. And uh, if you are on a device that can't copy or paste things, then just write your own raid message and get ready to paste it on into the uh, stream that we join. The point here is that we want to make sure everybody knows that we're coming in with the same raid because it always makes it more fun when we all come in together with our respective raid messages. So get your messages ready, ladies and gents, but you have a minute or two before we do that because we're going to take the show out. If you don't know the channel you're watching, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. Now, if you want to see which games are being played on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going, including Tokyo Jungle. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of nine. We're currently at five, so we're getting there, guys. The 20... Eighth entry in the Twitch playbook just came out. That one's called Make Your Streams More Watchable. And that's gonna help you to actually make your streams more visible to everybody who is watching, no matter what platform they're on. So uh, that's really important stuff, guys. A lot of times streams can be too dark or just in various ways hard to see. Now, if you don't know the Twitch playbook, it is a free podcast that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized, and it's been uh, coming out for the last 28 weeks in a row, so there's plenty of it. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching the Twitch Playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat, you'll get a link directly to it. Now, if you like the channel and you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames, and add free streams. Another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom Voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have Azur Tundra in first place with $10. That is a gold star donation. Thank you to Azur Tundra. On the cheer leaderboards, we have in third place Gaming Hour with 375 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Gaming Hour. Second place is Sungyen with 600 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Sungyen. First place is The Goonie with 1,000 cheer. That is a teal level cheer. Thank you to The Goonie. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. You are directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here, whether it is tweaking and improving the Twitch streams that you see in front of you, whether it's creating and posting content that goes on all the social channels, whether it's improving or adding things to the Discord or Wiki, whether it's writing, recording, posting all the Twitch playbook entries, all of that stuff, guys, is in large part thanks to all of you for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. Thank you so much, everybody who does it. It is very highly appreciated. 
And uh, big shout out to all of our mods and admins as well who make the Discord and the streams into the wonderful community that they've become. So thank you so much, guys. Let's uh, see if we can jump into a raid now. Thank you guys for touching for posting those links and the raid message once again. Now make sure, guys, don't forget to copy that raid message down or if you're on a device that can't copy things, then uh, write, get ready to write a raid message into the stream that we join because, of course, we want to show that we're all coming in with the raid. It always makes it more exciting that way. Now let's see what we can find here. We have a couple of people playing games at the moment. I have an idea, ladies and gents. I have an idea. Let's join our good friend. There we go, Dorian D, who is playing Red Dead Redemption 2. And if you know anything about us, about any of us, we all love Red Dead Redemption 2 on this channel. So let's all jump in there, guys, and relive some of our amazing cowboy memories. Now I will see you all next time. We have three more video game streams and one secret stream coming up tomorrow if you can find them all. But until then, guys, I will see you next time. Don't forget to paste that message in there or write your own raid message into Dorian's channel. We're all going to be coming in there with a big raid in just a second. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.